the armor of God. We will talk about that in five weeks time as I will be away for five weeks. We are going, for those who were not here this morning, we are going to Dr. Jonathan David, all the pastors from about 42 countries from the Isaac Network are coming together in Moar, a place in Malaysia, where we have a two week of leaders conference, intensive training, <sighs> nine hours a day about. It's good, it's a lot of stake. But uh, pray for us that we will really take the impartation for that, what God wants to put in us for this church, for this season, for the next year. Amen. Amen. And uh, that we will take that what must we be corrected in, but also that what must be built further in and through our lives. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The sound is also nearly with us. Praise the Lord. Armor of God, I'm not going to repeat a lot of the revision that we did. Just the main principle, kingdom is near. Go and preach that the kingdom is near, the authority of God is near. Wow, awesome. If you can allow it, if you're not foolish, you will see and hear when the authority speaks to you. When the word is of God is coming to you, you will understand authority. And then when you accept that, there's a kingdom within. Amen. Then the final say is in, the king of glory is in here. The one who has the final say is inside, in my spirit, the fullness of God. And then further, from kingdom within, then I have a passion. I want to see his kingdom come. I want this king to see how the king rule and reign in every facet around me. I have a passion that my king will have the final say in the school, at the university, where I work, where I move. He must have the final say. When I get into that place called the pick and pay, he must have the final say. Hello. And that is when I'm not seeking just the kingdom, but when I'm entering the kingdom. Then the authority of God moves into pick and pay. The authority of God moves into Pana Sarotis and this one and that one and wherever. He's walking into the mall. Can we get into that stature? May God change our lives to that extent that it will be like that man of God that in the radius of 50 kilometers, people just fell down and accepted God and just repented and demons went out of people. People were delivered from demons because of the authority that that man carried. Work with this process. There's authority close to you. It's coming through circumstance, through your surroundings, through the Spirit of God, through your leaders, through your brother, your sister, your mother, your father, your wife, your husband. Hello? Through your child. Yeah. Hear that final authority that is from God. Accept it inside so that the king can rule and reign in every area inside of you. Amen. So that where you go, you seek his kingdom. You seek his final say in every deal, in every decision, in everything about your future, your past, your present. Amen. Amen. So that you are surrounded in his authority. There's no battle in that facet because the battle belongs to the Lord. And where you go, you are moving with the King of Glory. You are moving with the King of Kings. And demons have to flee. Hello? And you just bring forth the wisdom and the knowledge of God when you speak. People look at the di disciples and say, but they are fishermen. Where do they get this revelation, this wisdom? And they stand amazed. But nobody could touch them except when the Spirit of God allowed that. Even they wanted to stone Jesus, even Paul. They stone him for dead, leave him there for dead. I don't think if you saw a stoning of somebody, I saw an Arabic movie. Yo! Uh, Think of somebody then you're stoning till he died, till they think Paul is dead. Next morning, here Paul's come, he's coming again. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> what a movie, you know? <clears throat> okay, some of you just smile at least, you know? <laughs> Yo. You must smile, we have a new technology here, man, you know? We are trying. Hallelujah. 
So the word, what did we say about the word? Is the foundation of everything in the armor of God. Amen. Because everything will fall, but the word of God will not. Everything will be shaken, the word will stand. Everything will end, but the word will never fail, and it will be until the end. The word will judge. Nothing else. And everything will bow down to what the Word says. Amen. In the beginning was the Word. The Word was with God and the Word was God. In the end, blessed is he who keeps the words of the prophecy of this book. Amen. Amen. So everything is in the Word and from the Word. At the end of the day, armor of God, everything is the Word. First of all, the Word of God in my head. My new mind must be renewed more and more and more and more until the mind of Christ is arresting my mind. And more and more is just the mind of Christ coming forth. You don't have to pray, Lord, am I allowed to steal or not? It's just there, you know? Now, as simple as that principle is, more and more you will just naturally start to move into the will of God, into the principles, into the whatever God says. And the wisdom will just start to flow more and more and more. As you are intelligent enough to understand that my mind has a stupidity that I must get rid of. But the man that think, yes, here, that yes, good ideas, is the most stupid person that you can find. Just tell your neighbor, it is not you. Okay. Okay, and this is called the helmet of salvation. Amen. Amen. The mind of Christ that arrests me, that this mind is, I don't know what is in English, but right. Next one. Second one is anybody. The shield of faith. What did we say? You stand against. With the word, you stand against whatever the enemy wants to bring, you just show him. Sorry, you can pass. We don't even have a fight. <laughs> Thank you. Wrong address. Oh. The deeds. Okay, this belongs to me. Sorry. He paid the price. And the enemy flees. Hello? Just keep up the shield of faith. Whatever the enemy wants to bring, whatever wants to come your way, the shield of faith. That's it. We need to have faith. Let's keep it there. Boom. Hello? He came with a shield of faith, Mr. David. That man had a lot of things that he can be threatened by and intimidated by. He knew just who he is. And I, came, I come in the name of the Lord. That's when he said that. He said, I come in the name of the Lord. Who on earth are you? You know, how do you think that you can, how dare you come against us? Hello. How dare you come against us? That's the attitude of David. Okay, shield of faith. The third one is the belt of truth. What is touching you the most? Eh? A belt is touching me. Hello? Yes. What is touching you the most? You are surrounded by what? Your fears, your insecurities, your hurts. And according to that, you walk, you move. Or, like the Jewish guys, they pull up their whatever. And Fasten it with a belt, and they could run. They could run in freedom. Amen. Be surrounded and be in truth. Not in problems. Not in trouble, but in truth. Around you is freedom, because the truth sets you free. You are surrounded by freedom. Hello. Amen. Because you are not moved by the facts, you are moved by truth that sets you free. You and freedom, you are, you are one. Amen. Amen. From the front, the back, the side. Freedom. Belt of truth. The next one was, is. Thank you. The sword of the Spirit. The sword of the Spirit is the Word of God. Amen. And that is not just, I'm fighting the devil, the devil, the devil. No, I'm a pioneer. Where I go, I'm cutting open, I'm dividing with a sword, what is from God, what is not from God. I can discern, and when I come into a place, there's discernment. Whew. And the word of God just cuts into that situation. Whew. And with the armor of God, you are just bringing clarity. Whew. With a sword in your hand. 
I mean, it's not like you sang on the song and you're fighting you and the devil. Chim, 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 chim. Who's going to be? When? Uh-uh. <laughs> this is a pioneer. The battle belongs to the Lord. Remember that one. Amen? Amen. But with the sword of the Spirit, you just bring clarity in. And he just is divided and the truth is revealed. Yes. Amen. Amen. Then the breastplate of righteousness. Okay. That is the word that I portray. Amen. Amen. I show the word to the world. My breastplate of righteousness against my heart. Blom, blomiki, blom. Whatever that is, was in English. Blossom, flower, key, blossom. Okay. Right. I will brag about the word. But it brings me to the shoes that I will speak the word. Prat, papa, haiki, prat. Speak. Preach, parrot, preach. Make sure you're not a very irritating Christian, we said. You think you are standing for the kingdom and it's the tribulation because you are standing for the Lord. No, it's just because of stupidity that I don't know the word. And I don't just know one verse. But I must come into the richness of the vocabulary of his knowledge. Amen. So that the people will see the depth of the knowledge of the riches of the glory of God. Amen. 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 That's what they must see to what is coming from you, coming forth through me. So that lastly I stand with a, with a blueprint of how to build a house. A house that will stand as a wise builder. Not my kingdom, not my house, not my whatever. And the house that I built is in my head, hey? It's not like building a life and you feel you think you have not a life. It's the life that is in your head that you've already built. You're not there yet, and many of us don't ever get there. But you've built some other house, some other life in your head already for yourself. Just break it down. Make sure it's according to this blueprint. Amen? And break it down by grace. Let it be when it's still in the head before it's on the ground. Amen. Get aggressive in the way that you check your, the plans for the house that is in your head, so that it will not be your house, it will be his home. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. So today we're going to not deal, we will, when I, we come back, speak about the sword of the Spirit, now we're going to speak about the breastplate of righteousness. Righteousness, right? Righteous, rightful position. Lord, have mercy on us. Where's ground? <laughs> Hallelujah. When we talk about righteousness, we're talking about a position. Everybody say position. position. Everybody there? You're not on the peanut gallery, hey? <laughs> it's the angels. Oh, no, no, sorry. We are more than angels. Yes. Amen. Yes. Yeah. Righteousness is about position. You are positioned before God or not positioned before God. Okay, what position do you take in? In your life. There's a place where you will stand that God gives you the authority to stand. I think I must get another mic. Can somebody organize me a mic, please? If we cannot... Uh, if you can cut me out there tonight. Thank you. Hallelujah. We are back. Righteousness is a position. A place where you have the right to be that God gives you. And God gives you a right to be in a specific place. Or you give yourself the right to be in a specific place. The one is self-righteousness and self-justification. The other one is where God ordained you to live and to stand before Him eternally. Amen. That is righteousness. And this breastplate is saying that what protects you that you are in. And then we say you must be in that breastplate. As one's here. And that is weapon. Around you must be this breastplate that protects your heart and your life. Okay. But you can protect your life and put yourself in a breastplate based on your hurts, based on your insecurities, based on things that happened in your life. You can protect your heart with a breastplate 